In a year since an arsonist set fire to this house, killing four young girls. And although investigators have not made any arrests in the case, this community is far from giving up hope. Every year I go out to school for Veterans Day. November 11, 2016, nine-year-old Kiara Phillips handed Charles Simpson a gift that means even more now than it did then. She, she came up to me and just looked at me and smiled. I'll never get the smile. Said, I love you, and gave me the card. Ten days later, investigators say someone set fire to Kiara's house, killing her and her three sisters, Kiana, Cariel, and Keone. That handwritten card reads as follows. On the outside, it says, thank you. Dear veteran, you gave us freedom, and you are brave. You can protect us and have, have a happy Veteran Day. Sincerely, Kiara, I love you from Kiara. For the last year, Charles and his wife Joyce have worked to increase the reward money for information that leads to the arsonist. Right now, she's selling cookbooks that contain some of the girls' favorite recipes. We lost four little girls in our community. And every time you would go by their house and everything, they would be outside playing, waving. Now that house sits unlivable, charred, and boarded up, the center of an investigation that has come under public scrutiny. In October of this year, the family requested that the NAACP get involved on their behalf. Nobody's been brought to justice. Um, nobody is talking to the family to even update them on the status of the investigation. Less than three weeks later, the Carroll County prosecutor and Flora Fire Chief announced their resignations, raising even more questions. Thank you. Uh, for being here and giving me a chance. In a recent press conference, State Police Superintendent Doug Carter said keeping the family apprised of all case developments could jeopardize its integrity. Everybody's a suspect until they're not. He also refuted suggestions of a cover-up or that the girl's race is a factor in the case's slow progress. I hope one day I can look into the eyes of a person that killed four little girls and then explain to you what we knew and when. But criticize me all you want to. I'm not going to do it today. In loving memory of all my babies. Joyce reads a letter inserted in her cookbook submitted by the mother of those girls who have come to be known as Flora's Four Angels. November the 21st, 2016 is the day I will never forget. Gone. I just couldn't imagine losing all four of my kids. But certainly not forgotten. We aren't going to let this die. Chance Walser, RTV6. Now to a closer look at the timeline of the Flora case. The investigation started one year ago today on November 21st, 2016. Initially, investigators did not have a cause. Then in late January, state police ruled it arson. In June, after repeated media probes, investigators confirmed they were interviewing persons of interest, but they said they had no suspects. Then earlier this month, the Carroll County prosecutor announced his resignation, followed by a similar announcement from Flora's fire chief. Now,